Oh no. Seems like we're out of ginger. Ah. Mr. Hyde, welcome. Hello, Kiwi. It's nice to see you again. How are you? Ah, well, I'm just here. How about you? You seem a little preoccupied. Right, sorry about that. I just learned we're out of ginger. No? I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. And the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. Tut tut. Sounds like a rookie mistake, Kiwi. I know, I'm ashamed. Our storage system is having problems because of recent power surges. Alas, I'm all stocked up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. You're really busy as usual, I see. Yes, well, nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. Although it's been quite a week, if I may say so myself. Oh. Well, I'm listening. Pardon. You're weak. Tell me all about it. Oh. Hmm, I'm not even sure where to start. Try anywhere. After all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard story, am I right? Right. Well, the most notable problem recently would be the severe thunderstorms. Sometimes they cause our power to short out, which messes with the machines. So in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. Warning, duly noted. There has also been this ongoing car vandalism in the neighborhood. Apparently, there's a serial deflator of tires on the loose. Officer Georgie was the one who informed me about it. We've also got a lot of new customers. And I think that's about it. Sounds eventful even if not terribly riveting. Now, regarding the car vandalism you spoke about. Well, I drove here. To what extent should I be concerned about it? Mm -hmm. I wish I could inform you with confidence. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it, so... I can answer! What's going on, Officer Georgie? There's nothing to worry about. Your car's gonna be fine. Officer Georgie, welcome. Hey, Kiwi. I managed to track and narrow down the vandal strike zone, you see. Because the culprit seems to have a favorite spot. Really? Yep, and it's nowhere near here. Miss Rihanna told me that uh, her car was affected as well, by the way. That's so. She comes back. Can you ask her where she parked? Yeah, will do. I appreciate it. Anyway, my investigation's still ongoing, but I'd say this area is pretty safe. So you can relax. I see. Anyway, good evening, y'all. Sorry for blocking the entryway earlier. I was finishing off my last cigarette. Because it's time to start a new one. Do you mind? Not at all. Mr. Hyde, meet Officer Georgie. He's in charge of the night patrols around here. Cheers. Officer Georgie, meet Mr. Hyde. Our occasional guest from Los Angeles. A friend of Mr. Gala. Ah. The being a hospital guy? Then I guess I've seen you around a bunch. A Los Angelo, hmm? Huh? Not for much longer, though. Oh. I'm in the process of finalizing my move back here with my modeling agency. Oh, that's wonderful news. You lived here before? Mm-hmm. For about 40 years. When did you move to L.A. then? Around 20 years ago. Right. Huh? Vampire. Let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look. Oh, models, vampires, gotcha. Huh. 
Then, as a native Seattleite, let me be the first to welcome you back. We got smog and door skies, but at least our coffees is second to none. Right, Kiwi? I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for the warm welcome. Then, have you moved in already, or...? Not yet. Preparations still need to be made at the property I've chosen. I wouldn't even think of packing until it's halfway done. Makes sense. That being said, I'll be here for oversee the construction for a while. If you ever need help, let me know. Can't do much by myself, but I can find a few guys who can. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. It's funny. What is? Quite frankly, the police force and I, something of a contentious relationship in the past. Oh. Was it a slap on the wrist and let's call it a day type of thing? Or the catch you, catch me kind? All I can say is live long enough, you'll try everything. Those are bygone years, of course. Are you sure? So, does anyone want anything to drink? Of course, naturally. Alright, what am I getting ya? You gonna have some of my wonderful art after you? Well, a public servant should put the citizens first. So, after you. How idealistic. But I insist. Oh my god! It, seriously, who wants to order first? It really doesn't matter. <laughs> after all, I'm still considering my options. Well then, in that case... What will it be, officer? Just give me something nice, Kiwi. Are you alright? Eh, not great, honestly. What happened? Never mind that for now. I got a question for you. Did you by any chance see a lighter lying around? Oh, yes, I did. I have it with me. Oh, that's a relief. Okay, Kiwi, listen carefully. I need you to take this very, very seriously. Okay. I need that lighter back, okay? Okay. I need it. I need it back. Or this streak of bad luck won't end. Pardon? Just talking to myself. Okay, yeah, I understand. Appreciate it. Would you like anything to drink? Just black coffee for me. But lightly sweetened. Okay. God, I love this music. Coffee, he said lightly sweetened. Uh, okay, so we'll do two coffees and a little honey. Sweet coffee. Oh, we need to give an item. I was too busy already, like, getting distracted here. Just being like... Oh, yeah. Okay. It's been a little bit since I played this. Serve it, man. Serve it. Finally. Hello, old friend. Thanks, Kiwi. I suppose I owe you an explanation. I told you before, right? This lighter's my lucky charm. When it goes missing, my luck gets really dicey. Almost got hit by a falling fan at work. Broke the missus' favorite mug. Nearly swerved my car into the sidewalk because a black cat jumped into my lane. A black cat, not even a raccoon, I swear I'm not making this up. <laughs> His face. If that wasn't a sign, I don't know what is. Then, well, daughter's still mad at me too. Oh, sorry you heard about that, Georgie. Anyway, glad to have this back. Thanks for keeping it safe for me, Kiwi. You are very welcome. Here's your sweet coffee to sweeten your evening officer. Cheers, Kiwi. That really hits the spot. I'm glad to hear that. Ready to make your order? Not quite. Do you have any suggestions? Hmm. We have a couple new teas if you're interested. Oh. There's butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus, huh? Not an ingredient that easily paddle. Uh, paddle. Alright. 
No, when used in hot beverage. Perfect. Make me something with it. Are you sure? We're missing some ingredients tonight. Do you have any specifics in mind? I'll let you choose for me. Just make it red and who knows. Maybe it can be my new blood wine. Ooh, blood wine. It's a fake blood cocktail I used to get here. But when it was still a bar. Ah, I see. Make me bold red drink. I'd like to see what you can come up with. Oh no, the pressure's on, man. Let's do, um... I don't know, hibiscus is a bit and mint. Why don't we think about that? Mint hibiscus. I don't know, it looks pretty red to me, so... Let's serve it. Here you go, sir. Something red. So this is a drink you thought I might like. Honestly, I'm not even entirely confident, but this is the best I can do tonight. It looks peculiar enough. Hmm. How is it? It's tart. Astringent. Do you like it? You tell me. Uh, and I was looking forward to it. I'm sorry that it wasn't what you expected. Well, you did what I asked, so no need for apologies. Next time, you can try making me something that doesn't taste like hay juice. Oh, no, it needs some boldness. Sheesh, you're giving me no direction. It's like showing up to Starbucks and being like, just make me what you want. <laughs> make me whatever speaks to you. <laughs> something that can leave a mark in me. There is only one hibiscus drink that I have enjoyed. I'm curious to see if you can come close. We'll try my best next time. Jeez, pressure's on. Welcome. Oh, hey, what's going on? I like him. Hey, kid. There. Oh, what's going on, Lucas? Damn. Oh, dang. Hello, Kiwi. Pops, nice to see you again. What's up? What's going on? What's going on with you? Me? Oh, well, nothing. Nothing much. You know what? Let me move over there. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about earlier. I was, uh, preoccupied. No problem. Is everything alright? Yeah, of course. I'm always alright, always. Because I'm a very lucky dude. Speaking of luck, did the lady ever come back? Miss Rihanna? Yeah, she did. Really? Did you manage to give her my stuff? I did. I gave her your uh, merchandise. The fidget spinny, right? Okay, great. Perfect. Now I just have to wait for her to contact me, huh? What? What is it? Uh, I just think the merchandise didn't have the clearest info on it. You think so? Damn, that's gonna be a problem. Trying to reach some, that Soprano lady? That's right, Pops. I still feel uneasy about how that day went. Just want to apologize to her. I see. Hmm. What to do? Actually, I found her handle on T-Chill. Really? Not sure if she even acted, though. If, in a day or so, she doesn't contact me, I guess I'll try adding her. Would that be too much? Hard for me to say, really. What do you think, Pops? Speaking as a dad with a couple of daughters myself, it all depends on your intention, kid. If you send her a message and she doesn't reply, that'll be your cue to move on, buddy. No ifs, ands, or buts. Yeah, you're right. Okay, then I'll wait. Any hoodle, it's nice to see you again, Pops. Likewise, kid. Hello to you, uh, sir? Hide. It's Hide. Wait, so you're really that Hide? The supermodel Hide? A big shot, hey? Huh. <laughs> oh man, oh boy. Never thought I'd randomly see you in a place like this. No offense to you, Gibby. Well, 
I follow your socials, man. Big fan! I especially love the timeless series you did for Boundless. Hmm? That's an old one. Boundless? It was a lifestyle magazine, no longer in print. Because everything is online these days. What was the series about? It was a photo series I modeled for. A bit of an avant-garde shoot. They were originally set to be displayed in a time travel themed showcase. Alas, the exhibition fell through. So they were re-themed and put in the magazine instead. Yeah, those are awesome. Hmm. I like how the series showed peak fashion through the times. Yet the designs were so contemporary. Timeless even. Pun intended. I love to see that. Wait, let me show you a couple pics from it. Look at you, Hi! <laughs> Hi looks great. They're colorless or not. Oh, wow. You look amazing, Mr. Hyde. Still do. Of course. It was so cool, it inspired me to find my own style, too. I'm partial to the 80s inspired look myself. Really? I can't tell. It's my jacket collection. Ah, glad it helped. I did enjoy experiencing some of those times again. Even if only in garment form. Even if I was left with a melancholy feeling. Aw, but I digress. Mm -hmm. Would you like to order anything? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, by the way, it's pure matcha supposed to make you feel woozy? Pardon? I tried drinking some before lunch a couple days ago. I felt dead nauseous. Did you have breakfast? Nope. It's really strong tea, so it still shouldn't be consumed on an empty stomach. Ah, uh, that was the main takeaway from our conversation, wasn't it? Duly noted, thanks. Then can I get a pumpkin latte? Uh, sorry, we don't have that here. Aw, oh, for real? You know, you don't need pumpkin to make it, right? Oh, I, I've heard that before. Yep, but I have an open mind. I just don't want a, anything plain tonight. How about making me something based off a of pumpkin latte with um, that uh, blah, blah, blah. with what you have? Okay, pumpkin latte. All right, I'm gonna go coffee, milk, and then cinnamon. All right, I'll try. Ooh, latte art time. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, what do we want to do? You know what? Oh, no! <laughs> latte art, latte art. Uh, oh god. Reset. What do we want to make here? What do we want to make? Uh, I am so bad at this. Um. Oh, darn it. Latte art. I keep pressing the wrong button here. Can we go L for Lucas? Alright. L. Oh. oh my god, me and my latte art is so bad. I don't know how people do like latte art so good here. Ah. You know, this is a little inspirational, right? <laughs> I have no idea what I'm making. Um, like that, right? Alright. Sure. And done. Squiggles and all. A cinnamon latte, warm and sweet, just for you. Sounds good. Mmm, good call on the cinnamon. It is the star spice of the fall season, after all. Oh yeah, you're right, like pumpkin lattes. The warmth cheers me right up. Thanks, Kibi. Don't mention it. We got it. We did it! <laughs> so what's the matter? Huh? 
What do you need cheering up, kid? How oh, about that? Just the usual work stuff. A few disagreements here and there, you know. Any working team will eventually have them once or twice, right? Right. What do you do? I'm a vlogger slash influencer. Ah. I review a lot of lifestyle things like fashion, places, food, etc. on the social media. Sometimes I do skits and such on my channels too. Well, and pranks also. No, no, pops, ha, no way. Real talk though, I actually hate pranks. I didn't say it before, but I hate them. A lot. Is that so? I just think they're the lowest form of entertainment. Just cheap thrills at the expense of others. Right. But yeah, getting off topic here, sorry. So you're essentially the creator and the host of your own show? What does your team do? My team helps me edit, secure sponsors, and massively boost the production quality. They're great, I owe them lots. Do you think you're doing well? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Get by pretty well. I currently reside in LA. For real, I did too, before I moved here. Why did you move? Why I moved? I mean, because I hated it there. I'm the crap on where you live, sir. I just think LA is not for me. No offense taken. Why do you hate it there? It's a long and stupid story. Trust me, you don't want to hear it. Anyways, sorry for the tangent. You were saying? I've been noticing an influx of newcomers there. They're loud, young, and brazen. Just like you. Yeah? The fact that you're able to make something of yourself out of such mundane nonsense. I'd say you're doing pretty well. So what's the issue? Well, I've talked about my channel situation here before, right? Yeah, you said your views were dwindling. Calling it dwindling might be an overkill, but yeah. That's why my team and I are trying to figure out what to do. I'm trying to keep the show fresh, you know? Truthfully, though, I've been wanting to change the show's direction for a while now. I even promised myself last year. Once I got a certain number of viewers, I was going to do it. Was? Well, uh, I always wanted to do a talent showcase segment, you know? So I can help evalu uh, elevate others like me. Others like you? Yeah! Like the soprano lady from before. Like those dwarf actors and actresses in TV shows. We all actually kind of have something in common. Do you know what that is? Make it easier for you. Think about satyrs, for example. Kibi, when you hear about us, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Hmm. Don't think too hard now. Just say anything off the top of your head. How about you, pops, sir? Probably partying, recklessness, alcoholism, or a joke, right? Is that what you think? Nope, but that's what most of society thinks. In the same way society views Lady Rihanna as bad luck personified. All just because she happened to be a banshee. Besides, society is awful at judging people. The immediate trust they have for those who have money. Compared to those who had to start from zero. You know what I mean? I mean, I get it, you know? Etiquette, social cues, and awareness, that sort of thing. What nurtures you when you're growing up reflects these things? That's what most people like to assume anyways. And like, I get it. Nobody can has any time to learn about everything. So, we go by impressions. But as someone who started from zero and now, the differences on how people treat me is so damn stark. So damn stark that it doesn't feel all great, you know? Of course. So yeah, I wanted to carve a space in my work. A place where I could give exposure to those who might not get it otherwise. And once again, I ask you, what is the issue? My team thinks my segment idea is too risky. Don't fix what's not broken, they said. They just want me to improve what I've been doing. And you agree? I mean, they're not wrong. 
The risk is real. After all, I'm not responsible only for myself. I've got a whole team depending on me now. That's why I'm trying to find a compromise. At least until we become so big that any slight changes won't affect us as much. Will the world wait for you though, I wonder? Huh? Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself that? Hmm. You see, making choices is always a matter of priority. As you grow, your stakes increases, along with your responsibilities. As such, your ex excuses will continue to pile up. But uh, given the pace at which you're going right now, I see your ide idealistic dream is unlikely to be realized. However, if it's enough for you to just have good intentions, well, that's another story. Hmm. Well, a little blunt, aren't we? Am I wrong, though? It's a perspective. You know, one of many. I admit, I don't know much about the entertainment biz. But you've gotten this far, boy. Because all along, you've been motivated by that specific goal in mind. Ain't that right? Yeah. That's why I wouldn't dismiss his intent so easily. He's... Well, you're probably just a bit lost right now. Do you think I should have been gentler then? Nah, I needed the whipping. Those words were hard to swallow, but I needed to hear them. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Well, there's a lot I need to think about. So, I should go. Nice seeing you, Pops. And thanks for your advice, sir. Kibi, thank you. Hang in there. Yeah, y'all too. See you around. Man, Hyde's always giving truths. Always giving truths. I stayed too long already. So I better do my work and go home. I don't want to get my pay docked, you see. Nice meeting you, Hyde. We'll see each other more often soon, I'm sure. Hopefully, nothing work-related. Have a good night, officer. You too, Kiwi. Be safe out there, officer. Will do. Ne until next time. Mm -mm. I suppose I should leave as well. I'll be back before long, though. Please do. Is there something wrong? Looks like the officer forgot his lighter again. Oh, it seems our officer accidentally drops it again. Oh man, it exudes an interesting feel. Man. Oh, what a curse. Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it from him, thank you. All right then, have a good evening yourself, Kiwi. Safe trip out there, Mr. Hyde. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm.